Now to a developing story overnight. Police say a Bakersfield toddler accidentally shot himself with his father's gun inside their southwest home. 17 Zaytan Wallace spoke with the woman who kept that toddler alive immediately after the accident and joins us now in studio with how that toddler is doing this hour. Eitan. Hey, Jim, as of this morning, the three-year-old was in serious but stable condition. And tonight, gun experts remind the public about the importance of safely storing your firearms. Discharge of a firearm. That was the call just after 7 p.m. Wednesday. Police say a three-year-old boy at this apartment complex in southwest Bakersfield shot himself with his father's gun. Found a firearm under the bed and shot himself in the leg. Everything, Everything happened so quick. Brittany Fox is a plumber who was working at the apartment complex on Marcia Street near Village Lane. As she was packing up her tools in the courtyard area, the boy's father came rushing down the stairs with the wounded toddler in his arms. Blood all over the place. Um, he told me the baby had been shot with his gun and immediately I held the baby so he could call the mom and call 911. From there, she applied pressure to the leg wound until paramedics arrived. Throughout the entire ordeal, she kept the toddler alert and talking. I was holding him, holding pressure, uh, just trying to get him to calm down. He was talking to me, he was telling me his name, his birthday. Um, kept repeatedly telling me that he shot himself in the leg with um, his dad's gun. And he also kept saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm, no, baby, no, you're not, no, you're not. Rebecca Powers is in no way connected to this case, but she is an expert instructor at the Powers Firearms Training Grounds at the Five Dogs Range in Famoso. She says there are several ways gun owners can safely store their firearms. You can have a safe that you keep it secured in. You can keep it unloaded, ammunition separate, um, out of reach. The trick is you want to keep it accessible enough should you need it for self-defense purposes, but inaccessible to unauthorized users. One way to do that, she says, a lockbox. The gun can go in here. There's actually um, the ability to have a cord in here so you can be secured to um, furniture and simply close and lock. Back at the complex, this mother of six reflected on her life-saving actions. Are you a hero? I don't feel like a hero. I feel like I was a woman that just came out and saw somebody that needed help and immediately helped. Parents, please keep your guns put up and don't let the babies get them. Now, we attempted to speak with the father today, but no one answered the door. Meantime, we will keep you posted as soon as we learn more about the toddler's condition. In studio, Aton Wallace, 17 News.